how's it going welcome back to the channel and of course i'm back people quick quick injury update man of course you guys probably know now emiliano buendinho has picked up an injury man like this is devastating news for the villa man literally man like i saw reports circulating around yesterday and i'll be honest i didn't take too much of it i thought it was just fake news going around but at the same time who would report fake news of a player getting injured literally don't make sense but yeah man and then literally woke up in the morning and I saw the news. Emiliano Buendia has picked up an ACL injury or uh, a knee ligament injury. Uh, and he's out for basically the whole season, man. This is devastating news, people, I have to say, man. Like, he was one of the players that was absolutely cooking in pre-season. He was doing his thing. He was balling out. Like, he was literally one of our better players in pre-season. And now the news comes out. He's injured, man. And reports are saying we're linked with uh, Zaniolo. Uh, I think that's how you say his name from uh, Galatasaray, six foot two attacking midfielder. Even his uh, injury record ain't the best. It ain't the best, man. This guy has been injured quite a few times, man, and he's picked up some serious injuries, I think, as well. Uh, but yeah, touching on Bundia, man, like this is devastating news, man. Like I wanted him to cook next season. I felt like he had a point to prove. He never really, really got himself um, into the Villa, like playing consistently and stuff like that and i felt like uh, this season coming up i thought that was going to be his season i thought this is when bondinho was going to come alive and absolutely cook but listen it is what it is man first it was diego carlos with the injury the long term i think he picked up and uh, was an acl in it he picked up that now it was bondia man like literally bro it has, to, it has to happen to the villa players and it has to happen to the villa players but listen when they are speedy recovery to you, my bro. Um, hopefully he recovers quick, man, and and can be back, you know, towards the end of the season before a few games. Um, but yeah, listen, very very dev devastating news for the Villa people. Um, and yeah, like I said, Zaniolo. Do you guys think he'll come in? Apparently, reports are saying that um, he wants to come. Apparently, he's given the validation that he wants to join the Villa as well. I don't know how true that is. Um, I think he's worked with Monchi before. I think Monchi signed him at Roma. So, you know, dumb man must have that connection going on there. But when they are, man, listen, devastating news. And also, do you guys think Coutinho now? I think this is going to be his um, season to step up now. When they has gone, I think Coutinho is that guy now that needs to deliver. And even in pre-season, Coutinho was cooking as well. Like, I felt like he even had a point to prove as well. And there were reports of him... Being linked with Saudi, I think Steven Gerrard's team at Etifak. Um, but I felt like I feel like those rumors have kind of slowly died down unless Saudi do offer uh, money for him. But can I see it happening now? I don't know because of the Bandia injury. I think Emery would want to keep him around and stuff like that, man. So yeah, I think Coutinho has to step up now. Um, I think we're gonna sign another player, like I said, Zaniolo. I think that's how you say his name. Possibly he'll come in. Don't know too much about him, like I said. Um, well, like I said, him and Monchi must have that connection going on from their previous club. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you guys make of this situation, man? Uh, and do you think Villa are going to sign another attacking midfielder? For me, I definitely think we should. Um, but yeah, let's let's see what happens, people. And like I said, Bondinho, speedy recovery to you, man. But yeah, people, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, man, I'm out. Up the Villa.